So let's, let's put this equation to use. Uh, we'll start with just entropy, the general entropy equation, ds dt. This is a differential entropy equation for a system that's open with streams that carry entropy with them, of course, um, plus the entropy generation by the heat flow uh, by uh, conduction plus the entropy generation caused by disorder increasing or gradients in your system. Well, look at this in this hypothetical system of two objects in an adiabatic uh, closed shell and these two systems share a boundary. This um, is is taken largely from uh, the the textbook by by Stanley Sandler. It's a engineering chemical engineering thermodynamics textbook. Um, I've seen this derivation uh, a number of other places as well. Now consider that you can have a transfer of energy in terms of uh, the temperature gradient across this system. Okay, and the temperature in system A is going to be temperature A, and the temperature in system B is going to be temperature B. And there's no heat uh, coming in from outside. This is adiabatic, so there's no heat flows. The only heat flow would be between these two systems and only across this boundary. Another important thing is that within each A, within each subsystem, um, the the temperature in A is uniform and well well mixed. Let's say the temperature in B is also the same in B and in A. So any type of transfer that occurs across this boundary. Um, will be instantly equilibrated so that there are no gradients. If there are no gradients, then we can set for the individual um, two sides, the S gen term equal to zero. We'll call this, um, because there are no irreversibilities in that example. So based on our, our entropy um, equation that is right here, we have no mass flow, so we can cross this out. If we, so then we, for system A, we have to uh, write the differential equation dSA dt equals q dot oh, uh, uh, for a different term is q dot a over temperature of system a, um, and then dS uh, b by dt equals q dot b over temperature b. Um, but what about the S gen term? Question mark. Well, all that explanation about this being uh, re reversible and having no gradients means that the S gen terms are equal to zero. So all that we have to do is substitute in the QA. And for, for this, we're going to introduce something for this boundary called the, uh, the, the, the heat transfer, overall heat transfer coefficient, so that the, the heat that flows into A is the opposite of the heat that flows into B, hence the minus sign, and this will be equal to minus h times the temperature difference between the two halves. So when you substitute these into our differential equations, we'll have dSA dt then equals minus h times Ta minus Tb all divided by Ta. And then similarly, we'll have dSB by dt is equal to minus h times uh, Ta uh, plus H, uh, excuse me, minus Tb, all divided by temperature of in uh, in subsystem B. So combining uh, these two, you'd think, well, we could just add them to get the overall um, entropy generation for the system. Except, if we treat the overall system as the composite of everything that we see here. There is a temperature gradient, and it is across that boundary. So the differential equation for the whole system is actually dsdt equals s gen, because there is no um, 
external gradients, there is no conductivity from outside, but there is a gradient inside. This gradient inside can lead to S-gen. This is an interesting problem that lets us understand how these equations combine to tell us how entropy is generated in the system. So if we wanted to figure out what S-gen is, we just, set, we just uh, say that S-A, that's the entropy in system A, plus the entropy in system B, is equal to the entropy in the composite system. We can track how entropy is changing individually in A and B, and to, under, to then determine how entropy generation is determining for the system as a whole. Here we have S-gen, then, simply equals um, the sum of these three derivatives, which uh, is equal to minus H times TA minus TB, all divided by TA, plus H of TA minus TB, all divided by TB. All we did here was sum these three individual differential equations. Okay. <clears throat> and set them equal to each other. Uh, my bad. We sum these two. We, we just do this. Let me just write it out. These, these notes will be raw and unedited. DS, DT equals DSA DT plus DSB DT. So, uh, the left-hand side, this becomes equals to S gen dot, and this equals these two terms that we have on the right-hand side. So, you can then go through and combine them. How do you combine them? How do we combine H times TA minus TB over TA uh, plus H times TA minus TB over TB. Well, to add fractions, you have to have the same common denominator. This side will multiply by TB over uh, TB. And this side we will um, um, multiply by TA over TA like this. So then we end up with H times TA minus TB squared all over TA times uh, TB. Which, if we define this term as the temperature difference between the two halves, we have H times delta temperature squared over TA times TB. Note, for any temperature... S gen meets the definition of being greater than or equal to zero. Um, if if for any for any temperature difference T A minus T B not equal to zero, then uh, then S gen will will be will be positive until until T A equals T B at equilibrium. at which point S gen will be equal to zero. So all of the properties that we've looked at for entropy so far are, are met.